The problem statement briefly is that we have a fuel tank, which is a horizontal cylinder, 20 feet long and 10 feet in diameter, five feet deep in the ground, with a narrow tube coming up to a fill cap at the ground level. The problem is to determine where to put the markings on a 15 foot length of pipe that will evenly show when it's put down the narrow tube into the tank, fully to the bottom of the tank, what the volume is that's left in the tank in even amounts of volume. So the first thing we have to do is determine the volume in a given height of liquid or fluid in the tank, which is this H, and this is a cross section of the tank. To do so, we're going to take and find the area of this sector here, which is determined by these two radii and the circle, and then find the area of this triangle and subtract it from the area of the sector in order to find this area here, which is the height of the fluid in the tank. It should be fairly clear that the area of the sector is theta divided by two pi, that is to say, the fraction of a total circle times the area of a circle pi r squared, and therefore is a half theta times r squared, where theta, of course, is in radians. We now calculate the area of this triangle by finding the area of each of these right triangles and multiplying by two. The height, or the base, rather, of this triangle here is a half r times the sine of theta over two, and its height is a half times, excuse me, is r times the cosine of theta over two, that's x. So the total area of these two triangles is a half r squared sine theta squared, where we have used the trigonometric identity that sine theta over two times cosine theta over two times two is sine of theta. So the area of the height h is this sector, this entire sector here, minus the area of the triangle. And so we get this. Now this equation is a transcendental equation. There is no algebraic solution for it exactly, so we're going to have to solve it ultimately using numerical methods. Finally, we calculate the height h as r minus x, which is r minus r cosine theta over two, or r times one minus cosine theta over two. So here's the calculation in MathCAD. We have L equal 20, R equal five, V max equal pi R squared L, and therefore 44.8.48 cubic meters. Uh, we have our two uh, results here from the previous uh, derivation. And we use the uh, MathCAD solver, which requires an initial guess of theta. And then this statement uh, with a logical equal sign that V of theta has to be uh, equal to one tenth of the maximum volume, just to get us a, the first mark on the stick. And this keyword is given and the other keyword is find and we find the value for theta and then put that into the height equation and find that the first mark is at 1.56 feet. This is repeated nine more times in a hidden area here and the results are shown here. Uh, as H2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. Uh, not an easy problem, I would say.